How you doing? My name is Joe. I work for PRP Seats. Today we're going to work on the brand new 23 Expedition and learn how to get your seats into this vehicle using the new C89 mounts. So one of the first things that you need to do is actually take your seat, slide it all the way forward, that way you can get to those two rear bolts real easy. Alrighty, your next step is going to be taking a half inch or a 13 millimeter. There's two bolts on the back of this mount that are going to be real easy to pull out. Alrighty, our next step, guys, we get those two bolts out of the back, you're going to slide that seat back using a uh, T40 Torx bit. You're going to pull out the two bolts that are in front. Alright, once you get all four bolts out, those T40 up front and the half inch in the back, you're ready to pull out your seat. Now that we got your seat out, you're going to take your slider, slide them all the way forward. Using a 10 mil socket, you go ahead and remove these two rear bolts. Once you get those two out, you're going to take your sliders, bring them all the way back. That way you can access the front two bolts with the same 10 millimeter socket. You're going to be able to remove those and have your entire slider assembly come off. Alrighty, for installation of your C89s onto the bottom of your PRP flat strap seats, first thing you're going to want to do is take a bolt. Put one flash wa uh, flat washer on it, go underneath so that way the bends are facing upward and spacing away from the seat. You're going to take one there and then another bolt with the orientation of the lock washer and flat washer, you're going to come downward into the flat strap. So this is going to make it a lot easier to get to these bolts later. You're going to do that for both sides. Once you get these bolts starting to thread in, you're going to use an 11 millimeter socket and you're going to bring it in, but what you want to do here is just seat them. You don't want to tighten them quite yet. So we have this adjustability in our C89s because not every back is created equal. So when we're going to put it in the vehicle, we want to make sure that we have the maximum slide across our rails and make sure the back just barely touches that harness bar. Honey, with these two bolts loose that are holding on the brackets to the seat at the moment, you're going to take your sliders and just like you had earlier with them slid all the way back, go ahead and line up those front two bolts and then start adjusting it to line up those rear two. As soon as you feel it drop into place, you know you got it. So here you're going to take that orientation, now that the bolt's in, go ahead and put your flat washer, your lock washer, and then your nut. And you're going to do this for all four. And this hardware kit does come with the C89, so you have everything you need to put your seats together and get them back in your vehicle and ready to ride. All right, once you get that slider assembly on, just make sure that you're able to move it back and forth just a little bit. We provided maximum adjustability in these, so no matter what seats you have of ours, you can put them into your vehicle. All right, once you get your seat back into there, you're going to have that seat base back in that same position. You're going to use that factory hardware to put it all back together in the reverse order that we took it out. So you're going to start off with your T40 and your bolts that came out of the front. Then we're going to go into the back, use those 13 millimeters, put the, everything back into the back, secure the seat, and we're ready to rock. So one thing that we did notice, uh, whenever you go to aftermarket seats, they are a little bit wider base. So there are times where you're going to run into a little bit of space issue. Here on this expedition, we ran into one of those instances where you're going to actually have to take off one of the handles in order for that seat to fit properly. All right, the good news is Polaris makes it real easy to pull these handles out. On here are only three 13 millimeter bolts. Once you remove them, the handle will come out real easy. All right, now that you got your new PRP seats in, the four bolts that we left loose in the bottom is to give you adjustability. Now in here, we do have a harness bar and it does have an extra piece in the back. So when we go to adjust this, we're gonna make sure that the slider is all the way back and that should give you enough room to be able to slide the seat back and forth. That way it's barely touching this little bracket here because you want to make sure that you're not cutting into the vinyl and make sure you can't feel that in your back. So once you're barely touching that little piece there, you'll be ready to go. Tighten it up and you're locked and loaded. Thanks for tuning in. See you in your seat installation in this 2023 expedition.